Going fishing this summer just isn't the same. Stupid fish. 11-year-old Austin Verdon has spent most of it right here aboard his family's boat parked at the dock. It's like almost life-changing because the oil is not all cleaned up yet. Summer is supposed to be a fun time, but kids everywhere along the Louisiana Gulf Coast are wrestling with how to handle the bad news about the oil. I'm scared if it floods, it's going to come up to land and nobody's going to be able to live here. It's just basically going to be a wasteland. Dr. Irwin Redliner from Columbia University is studying how it affects children. He says kids are absorbing the stress from their parents. The reality that there's an enormous human dimension to this with lots of people being affected. Uh, the stability of families is under siege down there. Normally, kids dread the thought of going back to school, but this year, many are looking forward to it. They hope it gives them a much needed break from the constant talk about oil. <laughs> Teachers at Zach and Austin's elementary school are planning to offer their students a sanctuary from bad news. We laugh with them, we joke with them. It's a family. It's a place where they're safe. It's a place where they can come, they can express their feelings, they can be happy, they can be sad. While going to school will definitely help kids release stress, there still remains a lot of uncertainty. What's going to happen to the shrimp and the crabs? And what's going to happen to the families who depend on a healthy oil and seafood economy? Mark Carlson, the Associated Press, Galliano, Louisiana.